Will most plastic surgeons allow a facelift, neck lift, tummy tuck, and breast lift in one surgery? Thank you for your question. In your question you submitted, you're asking, will most plastic surgeons perform facelift, neck lift, tummy tuck, and breast lift in one operation? So I think it's, it seems like you want to try to get almost everything you could possibly want to get done all in one operation. And I can understand a lot uh, the reasoning behind it for you as the patient. Uh, I can give you my opinion. I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice over 21 years in Manhattan and Long Island. And I do all these procedures you mentioned. And I would share with you simply my perspective on uh, the role of multiple surgeries and how I see it as more of a function of time and stress to the body rather than just multiple operations. So to begin with, when I, when I was in training back in the early to mid-90s, it was not unusual for, uh, for surgeons, plastic surgeons, to book surgeries uh, for one patient for the whole day. So basically an eight-hour operation, or in some cases a 12-hour operation. And I always wondered about the, the, the safety of such a, a long pr a procedure when it comes to the physical well-being of the patient after the surgery. I think enough time has passed that we have learned about the relative risk of complications of surgery and basically risk factors such as general anesthesia and prolonged operating time are very high risk factors for problems such as deep vein thrombosis or blood clots. So understanding that that's one major issue. Um, and the other issue of course is you, it is important to understand that surgeries don't always go exactly in terms of the time anticipated as planned. Things can happen, things such as bleeding, such as uh, complexity in the actual procedure can add time. So I think most of my colleagues um, would probably not do all those procedures all at once. Uh, in my own practice, I don't do general anesthesia for, uh, for the surgeries I do. I do uh, everything under local anesthesia with light sedation. And this includes uh, breast augmentation as well as uh, liposuctions and tummy tucks. And because of the knowledge gained by the use of tumescent anesthesia, which was invented by a dermatologist back in the mid-80s, we're able to minimize the risk. And even if a surgery is long, the patient is not under general anesthesia. They can actually move their body, they can get up, they can take a bathroom break. So there is a lot of safety in, in terms of the blood clot issue kind of built into that type of scenario. I would say that the reason why a lot of many people like yourself ask for this type of situation is that they want to avoid the going under general anesthesia for more than one, one setting. And so in our practice, essentially what I explain to my patients is you can have your eyes done, you can do your face and neck lift, you can do everything you want separately because everything is under local anesthesia. So there's really not a disincentive. It's a big deal to be intubated and have a tube in your throat and being put on a respirator more, than, uh, more times than is appropriate, but in our situation, we're able to just do everything under local with sedation. I generally advise when I do for my facial aging procedures, if we're going to do eyelids and facelift, we'll do that together. Sometimes we'll put in a chin implant, cheek implants. But essentially, I try to keep the surgery time down to under four hours. And, uh, and that's even with people being under local anesthesia. Um, with light sedation, g given all of the other things that we can do. Um, I think that uh, when it comes to also body procedures, you know, breast lifting surgery itself is a technically demanding procedure and takes time. Tummy tuck surgery can be a little bit shorter, but at the same time does require a lot of 
uh, technical um, execution as well as immediate aftercare. I know that uh, some of my colleagues will do a combination of breast lifting surgery and tummy tuck or combination breast lift augmentation tummy tuck and that's to the individual doctor and their experience. But I think that you should probably separate the face and the body procedures if you're anticipating doing all of those together. Now again this is my personal style of practice. Um, I, I can say that we've had an excellent safety record uh, you know, for, for decades now being conservative and careful and basically I, I treat my patients like my own family and I would not want someone in my family to go through all those procedures at once. I'm not saying that other doc doctors are being reckless but that's my personal bias. So I think you should get several opinions, meet with different doctors who perform these operations. I think it'll be in your best interest to divide these procedures out, see what can be done under local with sedation if possible, um, and see what, can, what requires um, general anesthesia. I know that a lot of my colleagues, um, especially for traditional tummy tucks, uh, prefer general anesthesia and understandably why, um, even though it is certainly possible to do even traditional tummy tucks under local with sedation. So again, meet with doctors um, until you're comfortable with uh, someone that you feel will be able to do these things. I would also add um, a little editorializing that there is still um, probably some doctors who really do a lot more of face versus body. Um, I, and I know that that's also a, a certain uh, perspective that you may want to keep in mind when you are choosing um, a, a specialist. Um, this is just, a, again, a personal bias as a specialist. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. And thank you for your question. Mm -hmm.